Susie. And today I am making these adorable little framed short square poly gel nails. I used my light pink and I made them very short. They're just to the tip of my nail uh, skin. And I'm starting to, I started going with the black and I thought, I'm going to film this. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the black and I am framing the nail. It's so easy. I thought it was going to be hard, but it is so fun. It's not 100% perfect. What I'm doing is I'm using a little artist brush. After I do the frame, I'm going in with a dot. Let's see if I can do my thumb here for you. Okay, so my middle finger is wet. All right, let's see. I'm going to see how I'm going to show you how I can clean up that little dribble that went. I'm not worried about the one on my skin. And I am capping the end. Okay, how I clean up. First I clean my brush, then I take my nail cleanse, which I added a little bit of, sorry about that, it's the blue nail cleanse from Jellish, but I added a little bit of uh, nail polish remover to it to extend its life a little bit. And I just take the tiniest little bit as you can see that little tiny line and I clean up there we go not worried about that little dot on my oh, second time I bumped that not really worried about the little dot on my skin because that'll come off then there is definitely a fuzzy on there. And I go in with a dot. And I just place it. Oh, my dot. My dot lost its shape. There we go. So then I'm gonna go in and cure this for 60 seconds. Hi, I am using a new filming angle, completely new. So I was uh, basically covering up the camera when I was drawing this adorable little frame around my periwinkle nail. I just wanna say, here's my artist brush. I did go in to this bottle right here, which is Nail Cleanse from Poly Gel. It's usually blue, but I added a little bit of nail polish remover to it to try to extend its life because I was down to like the very bottom there. Not happy, need more of that. Um, what I did, I'm dipping into the top over here and then just basically dabbing it off. And all I did with that little mistake was run the brush along it and then dab it off. Go back in with a little bit more. Sorry about that. Uh, clean up the edges. And it's very simple to fix any kind of mistakes. Um, you can even just 
trace it along your skin. Anything on your skin, it'll come off in a day or two, a day, wash a load of dishes and it'll be gone. It's easy like that. Um, just wanted to show that uh, because my finger, my hand was blocking the video. And now back to the video. Okay, I did cure the black. And now what I'm gonna do is go in with, hang on, I'm grabbing the bottle. My um, Jellish Clear. I love my Jellish Clear. Let me top it off. It's getting low. I already did the other nails, so I'm just going to do these two, which were my middle. And thumb. And while that's curing, I just wanted to mention, you know, I just love buttercreams. I've, I've only gotten my hands on one. I'm gonna clear that for 60 seconds. For one um, real buttercream, which I don't have out. But I use the sugars as my buttercream fakes. So this is like the sugar black, which is Oh, they just call it black. I forgot. That's kind of like black tie. Now, they have this new, it's a brand new uh, Palm Beach collection came out. And I think it's like 120 for the set of six. But I was looking through and my Sugar K111, which is a beautiful, beautiful periwinkle. That's what I've got on underneath uh, as my base coat for my black frame. That is so much like their brand new Night Owl, I couldn't believe it. Here we are. So, I thought they were just adorable. And you know what? I've got a lot of wedding stuff I've got to start doing. I've got to start making the favors working on the shower and really I just wanted some, I did get some on my skin right there, some nice short poly gel squares. They're the shortest I've ever went. And I also thought they'd be great for nail biters. I have not finished this hand. I just went ahead and did this hand cause I couldn't wait to get that night owl dupe on. It was, I've had that in my collection for about three months now. And I think this is the first time I've worn it other than the first swatch I did on the nail on that video. So yeah, this is a super, super easy technique. I thought it was gonna be hard. I did get a little on my skin here and there, but that's gonna come off real easy. All I did was Where's my finger? Oh, I did a little frame and then I did a dot. I've seen some with kind of um, an exclamation mark that's supposed to be like highlighting the color, like where you make that pound sign on a balloon when you were young that kind of makes the highlights your little balloon you drew. And I just thought this was adorable. This is an adorable, quick, little conversation piece. People are going to be like, oh, your nails are so cute. And you'll be like, oh, took me hours. Really took me five minutes. And you don't have to be 100% precise on the border. It just all blends together. It's great. I had a lot of fun. And that's the most important thing. So if you want to get these short square poly gel nails, pick out any color you like. I just thought, you know, 
it's funny that the the Palm Beach collection came out right now and I had a perfect dupe which is Sugar K011. They are from China as you know if you've seen my other video I'm going to put my buttercream dupe collection video down below. This is similar to black tie it's just black but pick out any base color you want. I'm just in love with Periwinkle. So I will put that down below as well as I am just a few people away from my 400th subscriber giveaway. I hope to be doing that late this weekend coming up and have a great week. Take care.